All right, thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. I'm Brandon Gaughan. To my left is my good friend Charles Davis. And what a thrill to be here for the biggest one of them all, the Super Bowl. And it seems to get bigger every year. The lights get brighter. The cameras more numerous. I don't know. There's just so much that goes into this game. It's an honor to be here, isn't it? It is an honor, and I can't wait to share this game with you. This is going to be a whole lot of fun. You're my partner, my best friend friend i can't imagine being anywhere else but right here with you and just think about it this way you mentioned the magnitude this is no longer just a game for america or even north america this is worldwide people watching from just about every country in the world this is impressive the biggest stage the biggest game and just about ready to roll Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Gun, gun. Check your backer, check your backer. One, 25, sit on! They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. A hey, tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Hey, self. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Gets it to Benjamin, it's caught. And he's got the first down, yardage before being taken down at midfield. 23 yards on the play. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down, very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he's going to be brought down inside the 45 at the 43. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Seven. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 20, 20. 52 is the mic, boy, 52. They go play action here on first down. And he will find Ridley on the left side. He was a 1,000-yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. It's first and 10 at the 14. Four down, four down. Check, check. 52 is the Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, 
He looked like one of those guys. On second down, Ryan. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Derek Rivers able to get in there and drop him for a two-yard loss. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack... You're really almost discrediting their work. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. With a first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Bryant's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. You got four. You got four. 45, 45, 45. Again. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away at its second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Four down, four down. A former star in nearby Georgia, this is Sony Michelle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Brady. Goodwin able to haul it in. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 Let's times go. in a game. Inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there. But they're always taught to have one eye on the football 
Apparently, that didn't happen. So this helps to start a drive. Hey, After the ready, penalty, it'll be first and five. 22! 21! After the penalty, here's Freeman. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. The big nose tackle, Danny Shelton there to swallow him up. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Get up! On second down, Freeman. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just have a big tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. He's got his man on the crossing route. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. This is Freeman on first and ten. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now here's Bryant to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. He's at the 40, past the 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Cordero Patterson, 104 yards, and the Patriots have cut it back within a score. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What, what's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. Usually meant that thing's done. Well, well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. So that'll back him up five. Let's go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Three down, three down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. All right, Brand, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Hey, let's go. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. From the shotgun, Ryan going underneath. It's Coleman. 
They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Ryan. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being Let's overly go. critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. 21. Second and 10 now, Ryan. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Derek Rivers able to get in there and take him down for a loss of three. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. From the gun, it's Ryan. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. This is taken at about the 14. 51 yards on the punt there. And the Patriots take over. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Another, another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. First and ten, here's Brady. Flush to his right. He'll find Goodwin here on the right side. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. It's Michelle. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. You got four. You got four. 45, 45. Mike, 45. Brady to throw on second down. And Gronkowski's got it complete over the middle. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going.
A give. This is Michelle. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Wasn't able to get anything. No gain. Fumbled once already. Maybe he's being a little careful. Not necessarily on that play, but I'm sure that's in his mind somewhere. Oh, without a doubt, because protecting the football is job one for anyone who's carrying it, and that's exactly what he tried to do on that play, but it didn't gain him any yardage. To throw on second down, Brady. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time, make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Watch clear. Single, single. Go. Forty-five to Mike. Shotgun now for Brady. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. That can't stay. Yes, yeah, a great leader, a guy who can make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. So that throw by Brady, incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but... That's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it. And boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup. And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And it's caught at the seven-yard line. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. Let's go, let's go. him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield. Second and goal. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Tough. Check. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He's going to get it right, right. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory.
New England on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, 29. Alpha. 45 to the mic. Working from the gun, it's Brady. The quick slant caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on me. I was. Partner. I was. It sounds, like, it sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and give these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. We'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield Success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Ryan on the handoff. It's Freeman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That good for 19 and a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On first and ten, it's Ryan. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. From midfield now, here's Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. The Falcons on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back on Super Bowl Sunday after this. On third down, Ryan. And he 
gets this one to Ridley complete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And now a 10th carry for Freeman. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now a handoff. It's Freeman. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On the heels of that good carry by Devontae Freeman, here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid okay, gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Patriots have it. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. They begin with the shell on the ground. And now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one-yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other way. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. Four down, four down. Alert. He's crashing. He's checking. Watch, we set. Watch, we set. On second down, Michelle. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Oh, to me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points. And this will be taken at the 13. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one.
So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Final play of the half, it's Ryan. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. But the Falcons were able to recover, so they will keep possession. So we've come upon halftime here in Super Bowl 53. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The halftime show, quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. Fielded about a yard deep. And now out come the Patriots. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Reset. Now Brady throwing on second down. Oh, the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman, his second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. And finding Edelman underneath, that's a recipe for success. Typical route for a good slot receiver, and Edelman's one of the best in the game. Knows how to go inside what one of my college coaches used to call the briar patch. Got to go in there where it's tough and make those tough catches. And not only can he do it, he can often run away from people after the catch. Caught on the right side by Dorsen. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Hey, 20! Brady now on first down. And a dump off to White. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. On the ground is Michelle, and yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. New England on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. You got four. You got four. Got Play action. Now it's Brady. As a man and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are an extra point away from going out in front. Extra point good by Gaskowski. And that will put them on top here in the third. Gaskowski now out to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. 
try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. Yeah. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second? Most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they do, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. to Freeman. It's Ryan. And that's incomplete. His struggles finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw this inconsistent throwing the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminate it. To throw on third down. Ryan gets it to Benjamin. It's caught. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Freeman. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Ryan caught on the right side by Jones. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So the first connection there, Ryan to Jones, and certainly a big reason they're losing on the scoreboard. As they go as a connection, it's Pierce, so goes the team. And they need to be on the same page in sync. And they really wish it could have been earlier in the game. Now they've got some ground to make up. On third down, it's Coleman down right around the 25. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. And Bryant's kick is good. And with that, the lead changes hands here in this third quarter. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. So the Patriots coming out now, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. 29, Alpha! Check, 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 check! 
Throwing on first down is Brady. Left side, it's Dorsett. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. On play action, now Brady. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 30 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Check, check. Check it. On the ground, this is Michelle. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So that one will be accepted. Now they'll try to take advantage of that offsides call. Here's first and five. Brady now to throw. Allen has it, left side. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on man-to-man to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Hey, I'm right. Alabama, 380. Yeah. Following the penalty, Michelle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. New England on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and goal. They come out here in the eye. And they will run it with Michelle. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four.
So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for a fourth quarter lead. And Goskowski's kick is good. And with that, they have taken the lead by a point here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Looking for Benjamin, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the ground, Michelle. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football let's go, let's go. is here. That fumble earlier, probably Alabama. at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Over the middle, Julian Edelman, it's complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A very solid gain of 27. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Throwing now is Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Rob Gronkowski from three yards out. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Goskowski with the extra point. And that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Goskowski now out to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. He spins free. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Hey, hey, we, uh, we got four. We got four down, four down. Let's go. Third and two, now Ryan. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. 
That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Ryan now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Following the penalty, it's first and five, and you got to think offensively, all kinds of options. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10, just shy of the 30. This drive starts out on the ground with a shell. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. Hey, 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 hey. I am speechless. I am without speech. Now Brady. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run with Michelle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. On second down, here's Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's where this crowd can really help make things difficult. It's third and three. Brady going to try and throw on third down. Escaping the pressure right. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. He was looking for Gronk that time. He violated a big-time no-no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time, not the case. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. 
And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the gun, it's Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he slides to avoid the hit. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly hey, that go. on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. On first down, Ryan. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Now Ryan on second down. And an alley to run. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Time for a break. We're back to perhaps crown a champion after this. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I want to go back to something you said in the first quarter is about it, winning. Is, is it a positive? It is a positive. Okay. About winning the turnover battle as a visiting <laughs> team, as an underdog. You were right. They've done just that, and look where it's gotten them. It's part of the formula. When you go on the road, as you mentioned, being an underdog, winning the turnover battle is a big key, and this one's playing out in this one. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Danny Shelton in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Get so the sack pushes him back. And now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Knocked away and incomplete. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, there was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. Hey, wait, wait. 
Here we go. It's Ryan on fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. What a Super Bowl this has been, and the biggest play comes now. It's fourth down. Left. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. It's complete right side to Benjamin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They keep the game alive, go, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Hey, wait, wait. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. I'm a little surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they aren't using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. They come out here in the eye. They run. Devontae Freeman. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Four down, four down, four down. Now the pitch to Freeman. And he gets in just in the nick of time, so they get the touchdown they need. Now they need a two-point conversion to tie it. The touchdown's massive, but now they've got to have two to possibly take this to overtime. Now whistles and a timeout signaled here by the offense, and that's their first of this second half. One of the biggest plays in Super Bowl history unfolding before our eyes. They need two to tie. 21. Back to throw. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. The clock showing 19 seconds to go. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And it's another Super Bowl title for the New England Patriots. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit <laughs> on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.
And they end this year just how everybody